spirit message of the week. I sat down to use Oracle cards and spirit said to me, okay, that's enough of that shit. We know that you can read the cards. What we need you to do is to channel to people what we want them to hear for the week. And I am in Dayton, Ohio right now, and it is really cold. <laughs> I think we had a high of like six degrees yesterday. It was pretty bad. Um, and I say pretty bad, but I really like the cold because it doesn't feel cold to me. So I enjoy that. Oh, okay. And so herein lies our message. <laughs> As a world, we need to become more accepting and more loving and more open. We need to recognize that what one person loves, another person may dislike or vehemently hate. Even though I don't like the word hate, which is why I put it in quotes. We need to become more tolerant of other people and understand that just because they love or like something that we don't doesn't mean that we have the right to sit in judgment of them. We need to be able to step back from the judging feeling and look at why are we judging. Play it out on a movie in front of us as though we can visually see ourselves and go, oh, what am I feeling in this moment? Because so many times we are so steeped in the pain of the judgment, the anger, the discomfort of the judgment, that we don't know where it comes from. And it's really important that we start looking at why this judgment is coming, what is happening right here. And once you are able to discern where does this judgment come from, then and only then can you begin to heal and let go, find your true fire, which makes sense for why they made me sit near my fireplace. And stop expecting perfection because even as i'm sitting here with my headphones on i can hear my cats running around i know my dogs are probably running around and or not running but at least pacing or visible because we have to stop getting caught up in the perfection of things we are not perfect and we need to stop trying to be perfect we didn't come down and descend to this earth to be perfect human beings we came down here to learn the lessons that we're here to learn and we have got to let go the perfection that you're holding on to that is what's stopping you from embracing the imperfection of your life the lessons that you're supposed to learn when you're trying to sit in the perfection, you are not understanding the beauty of the world around you. Sitting outside, looking at the snow and saying, I don't really like you, snow, but guess what? Shelly loves you, and for her in this moment, it's perfect. But I will find my perfect moment somewhere else, and I will not judge her for that. It is these simple things that we can do that begin to shift our energy, shift who we are as human beings and embrace the beauty of everything that we are, knowing that we are perfect as we are. We are exactly where we need to be on our journey and we do not need to judge ourselves. We need to step outside of judgment, period. Judgment is an ego response. The thing that our ego says, hey, here's what you need to do. No, your soul, your soul knows what you are supposed to be doing and it doesn't care about how much you weigh. It doesn't care about whether or not you have makeup on. It doesn't matter if your hair is done perfectly and it doesn't matter if people want to judge you for who you are, for speaking about your cats, for cussing like a fucking sailor. None of that matters. What matters is what is your intention in this life? If you intend to be down here and judge, no, I am telling you, promise you on this one, you will repeat this life, these lessons in another life. Get it now. Understand it now while you can. Be who you were meant to be. Step outside of judgment. Allow yourself to open and blossom and be the perfect soul that you were meant to be. Yeah. And now I'm going to have to watch this because I don't think I know what I just said. <laughs> so there it is. There's your message for the week. Mwah! Love you all.